Have you ever had a dream that felt so real you couldn't shake the feeling that a loved one who has passed on was trying to communicate with you? In this video, we'll delve into the fascinating topic of spirits visiting us in our dreams. Uh, from the science behind lucid dreaming to the spiritual beliefs surrounding afterlife communication, we explore the possibility of whether our dreams are really a gateway to the other side. Join us as we examine the evidence of the phenomenon of spirits in dreams. Do spirits really visit us in our dreams? Let's find out. A dream visitation is a spiritual experience where a spirit, often a loved one who has passed, communicates with a living person through a dream. It's a unique form of spiritual interaction, often carrying profound messages and insights. We'll get back to the subject here in just a second, but let's stop right now for our opening prayer by the paranormal pastor, Jarrell. Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity that we can come together virtually, Lord. We ask that you uh, keep us safe and keep us blessed as we discuss the paranormal and the supernatural. Um, Lord, and just uh, guide us and keep us on the path of righteousness. We ask and pray for these things. In the name of Jesus, we all pray. Amen. Amen. Have you ever had a dream that felt so real it left you wondering if there was more than just your subconscious mind at work? Maybe you've had a dream where a deceased loved one appeared offering words of comfort or guidance. Or perhaps you've had a dream that felt like a message from the other side leaving you with a sense of wonder and awe. The idea that spirits can visit us from our dreams is fascinating and intriguing concept, one that has captured the human imagination for centuries. Skeptics might say that these experiences are just the product of our imagination, a manifestation of our own fears, desires, and subconscious thoughts. But what if I told you that many people around the world claim to have had real, tangible experiences with spirits in their dreams? Would you believe them, or would you write it off as mere fantasy? The truth is, we can't know for certain what happens when we dream, leaving the door open to endless possibilities and interpretations. From a scientific perspective, Dreams are still largely a mystery, a realm of the unknown where our brains process and consolidate memories, emotions, and experiences. But what if there's more to that than just brain chemistry and neural activity? What if our dreams are a doorway to the spirit world, a realm where loved ones, guides, and even angels can communicate with us? Of course, the idea that spirits can visit us in our dreams raises more questions than answers. Are these experiences real? Are they just a product of our own minds? Or are we just tapping into our own subconscious? Or is there actually something more going on? The debate is endless and the answers are far from clear cut. Does anyone have any uh, dream visitations that they would like to uh, share with us tonight? I don't exactly have a dream, you know, about it, but to answer one of the questions that you proposed was, I believe that God and the angels communicate with us through our dreams. I believe that they give us warnings of imminent danger, uh, sometimes allowing us to see um, accidents or things that are to come. Um, and we may not remember it the next day, but as we get closer to the event horizon, we start experiencing deja vu. So, and I also believe that deja vu is also another way that uh, God and, and the messengers, which angels, are letting us know that we have received the warning of the imminent danger that's coming ahead. And uh, those are the things that we experience 
leading up to the event. I, uh, in 2022, I told Rachel not to go to Marshall the following morning. I had a dream that was surreal. And I told Rachel that if she preceded her, Mark, and Mark's daughter, that they would have a wreck and that she would not reach her destination, that a hospital visit would be in, in, imminent. Um, she didn't heed the warning, needless to say. Uh, bless her heart. We all love her, though. You know it. And uh, it, the event did happen. I was very adamant and very persistent. Wesley, she wanted Wesley to go. And and I said, no, I, th I think Wesley and I need to stay here. Um, I love you, but uh, you need to be very careful. You're, you're going to have an accident. No, I'm not going to have an accident. That's just you. I said, no, Rachel, this was very real. I said, not only did you wreck it, but you're going to flip the van on its side. No, 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 no. John, everything that I was shown happened it happened. I had to call Rebecca and let her know that uh, her mom and, and Mark and them had been in an accident. Um, Rachel and them were taken to the hospital, which all that Rachel, thank God, all Rachel suffered was just a bruise from where uh, the seatbelt was across her. That's it. No scratches, no, no indent, you know, no open wounds or, or concussions or anything like that. Um, but yes, I, I do believe that and it, it's not our higher conscious. These are directly from God and, and, and the messengers. I totally believe that, John. I, I just, I've experienced the, those visions before and, and on more than one occasion. And I can get with you privately and, and me and Rachel can tell you of other times. However, um, yeah, I'm going to go with it. It's, it's God letting us know that imminent danger is coming and, and that we need to be alert and aware of the event horizon. Um, I believe that it could have been pre uh, prevented. I believe that God gives us a warning so that we could change those events. But, uh, you know, some people are just like, well, it's just a dream and we're going to persist. So, you know, but yes. I uh, totally agree. I do too. I've had a number of these dreams myself over the years that have warned me of many things. And then, uh, of course, uh, you being a paranormal pastor, you are very much aware, and so am I, of the passages in the Bible where many people in the Bible have dreams that come, you know, they're visited by angels or, or God visits them and gives them messages or they receive messages from the other side. It happens throughout the Bible in both Testaments. So I very strongly believe that it has always happened and that it always will. Let's discuss some of the common signs that a dream might be a visitation. The dream may feel unusually vivid, emotional, or significant. The spirit may appear in a clear and recognizable form. The dream may convey specific messages, offer guidance, or simply provide comfort. Sometimes the dreamer may wake up feeling a strong sense of peace or purpose. How can we interpret the messages from these uh, visitations? Interpreting dream visitations requires a combination of intuition, meditation, and sometimes the assistance of a spiritual guide. It is important to pay attention to the emotions and the symbols within the dream. Often the messages are symbolic and require deeper understanding. Keeping a dream journal can also be helpful in tracking patterns and reoccurring themes. Are there any precautions or ethical considerations to keep in mind when experiencing dream visitations? While dream visitations are generally positive experiences, it's important to maintain a balanced perspective. If the dream becomes overwhelming or disturbing, seeking guidance from a spiritual advisor can be beneficial. It is also crucial to respect the boundaries of the spirit world and avoid inviting unwanted spirits into your dreams. 
How can listeners who are interested in exploring dream visitations further deepen their understanding? Meditation and mindfulness practices can enhance one's ability to connect with the spirit realm. Keeping a dream journal and reflecting on the symbolism within the dreams can also provide valuable insights. Consulting with a reputable spiritual advisor or dream interpreter can often offer additional guidance and support. Here's what the average person should know about dream visitations from spirits. They're common. Many people experience dream visitations, especially after the loss of a loved one. These dreams often provide comfort and reassurance. They can be powerful. Visitation dreams can be emotionally intense and leave a lasting impression. They may feel very real and significant. The messages can be personal. The messages conveyed in the dreams are often unique to the individual and may offer guidance, support, or simply a loving connection. Trust your intuition. If you believe you've had a visitation dream, trust your feelings and the message you received. It's a personal experience that holds meaning for you. It's okay to be skeptical. It's perfectly normal to have questions and doubts. There's no right or wrong way to interpret these experiences. There's no harm in believing. Whether you choose to believe in the spiritual nature of the visitation dreams or not, there's no harm in finding comfort and meaning in them. Remember, the interpretation of dream visits is highly personal. If you're curious about the meaning of a particular dream, you may consider journaling about it, meditating on it, or seeking guidance from a trusted spiritual advisor or therapist. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of dreams and the spirit world, we find that many cultures and belief systems have long believed that dreams are a medium for the spirit communication. In many indigenous cultures, dreams are seen as a source of wisdom, guidance, and as a spiritual insight, with shamans and elders often interpreting dreams as messages from the ancestors or the spirit realm. In ancient Greece, dreams were believed to be messages from the gods, with people often seeking dreams, uh, guidance from oracles and priests who could interpret their dreams. In many Eastern cultures, dreams are seen as a way to connect with the afterlife, with the dead continuing to play an active role in the lives of the living. From personal accounts to historical perspectives, the evidence is overwhelming. Dreams have long been seen as a gateway to the spirit world, a realm where the boundaries between life and death are blurred. But what about personal experiences? Have you ever had a dream that felt like it was a message from beyond? One of the most compelling stories I've come across is that of a woman named Sarah who lost her mother to cancer when she was just 16. Years later, she began having recurring dreams that her mother would appear in, offering words of comfort and guidance. At first, Sarah thought it was just her own mind grieving. But as the dreams continued, she began to realize that her mother was actually communicating with her, offering real-time guidance and support. Over time, Sarah learned to listen to her dreams, using them as a source of wisdom and guidance in her own life. She began to realize that her mother's spirit was still with her, watching over her and guiding her even in death. And as she shared her story with others, she found that she was not alone. Many people have had similar experiences where loved ones have appeared in their dreams, offering comfort, guidance, and support. Stories like Sarah's are powerful reminders that the world of dreams is full of mysteries and wonders, a realm where the impossible becomes possible and the boundaries between life and death are blurred. 
While interpretations may vary, one thing is clear. Many pe for many people, dreams are a source of spiritual insight, guidance, and connection. With this, I'd like to, uh, to have the paranormal pastor go ahead and give us a closing prayer. Thank you, John, I will. Uh, Father, again, thank you for this opportunity that we could come together, Lord, and be able to know that you're with us and protecting us, Lord. Father, as we go through this week, the rest of this week, Lord, we ask that you just keep your hand on us. Protect us, Lord, guide us. Um, just get us through this the rest of the week. We ask and pray for these things in the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. As we wrap up this exploration of spirits and dreams, I want to leave you with a question. Have you ever had a dream that felt like a message from beyond? Share your own experiences in the comments below. And don't forget to check out our other educational videos where we'll dive deeper into the mysteries of the supernatural. Please subscribe to our channel. If you like our content, click on the bell to get notified when we add new videos. If you have a subject that you would like us to make a video on, please leave a comment. You can sign up for our monthly newsletter, The Paranormal Pulse, on our website. The link to it is in the description below. Until next time, good night and happy exploring.